Almost everyone has heard of Steam, the super popular gaming platform with over 30,000 games. Now, Steam is definitely a great service, but on some devices, like Chromebooks or Linux computers, Steam doesn't work so well. And that is where Lutris comes in. Lutris is a free, open source gaming platform that makes gaming on a Linux or Chrome OS machine much, much easier. Let's get started. So this video will have a few parts. First, I will demonstrate how to install Lutris. I'm installing it on a Chromebook, which is based on Debian, but the link is in the description if you are using a different distribution. Then I will give a tour of the app UI and features. Without any further ado, let's get started. Lutris installation is fairly straightforward. It can vary depending on what version of Linux you're using, but they are all listed on the Lutris website for convenience. I have pasted the commands for Debian, which includes Chromebooks, in the description if you would like to copy-paste them into the terminal. So to install, we need to use the terminal. First, we add some repositories with these two commands. This can take a few minutes depending on your internet and device speed. Then we update our sources list, and then we just install Lutris with sudo apt-get install Lutris. When asked, hit Y and then enter, and after a few minutes, Lutris should be installed on your system. This should hopefully be a fairly easy and straightforward task if you would like to install Lutris yourself. Now you can just open Lutris from the list of applications on your system. When you open Lutris for the first time though, you may, greet, you may be greeted by this screen informing you that you are missing some important graphics drivers. If you follow that link, you'll be taken to this page, which then redirects you to another page. From there, you can follow the instructions to install the drivers. For fellow Chrome OS users, you should follow the Ubuntu 18.04 directions, as they should work properly on most Chromebooks. Once you've installed the drivers and rebooted, you can open Lutris again to be greeted by this screen. Do not worry though, it does get more interesting. What you're looking at is your currently installed games. None. Before I explain more, I would highly recommend clicking on the hamburger menu in the top right and enabling dark theme. It's just a much more elegant and refined look for the application. Now, there are a few things to notice. In the top left is the account options where you can sign in or register. There's also a search bar up top, and in the hamburger menu there are a few more options. Today, I will mostly be focusing on the search bars functionality and the apps available on the platform. You may notice that the app doesn't really have a browse feature like other platforms like Steam do. Instead, if you visit the Lutris website and click on games, you can see a selection there. Once you've found something that piques your interest, you can go back into Lutris and search for the game. Then, simply select the game and hit install. You may have to install some game engines or dependencies before actually installing the game, but the whole process is fairly simple. Once a game is installed, it can be found in the All section of Lutris for easy access. As you install more games, they will all show up there so you can get to them all super easily. And so, that is Lutris. This service makes installing games on Linux or Chrome OS a much easier and pleasant process, and has a decent selection of games for you to explore. I do hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more awesome content. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.